the blockbuster game of day one of match day one in the Champions League uh, season. It's ended Napoli to Liverpool nil, but that scoreline hardly tells you the story of the game because it was pretty much even Stevens for most part of it until Andy Robertson apparently brought down Jose Callejon and the referee awarded the penalty. How that did not get reviewed by VAR is beyond me. It was very strange how VAR did not uh, think it was fit enough to be reviewed. Uh, this I'm sure going to be a lot of chatter on that now. Uh, but either way, the referee awarded the penalty and uh, Dries Mertens put it away. Why wouldn't he? That's four goals for uh, for him in four games this season. Starting off the season where he left off last, uh, 19 goals last season of course. And now four and four for him this season. So positive sign for Napoli there. Uh, but let's talk about the game. Well, it was a pretty fun and entertaining game in the first half. A uh, few chances for both teams as well. Uh, Roberto Firmino in particular had a very good chance. Left the goalkeeper flat-footed and had that header been on target, it would have been Liverpool uh, in the lead. But it didn't happen and the, the one takeaway that I thought from this game has to be the defence of both the teams. Now, you know that especially there's a lot of talk about Mane, Firmino and Salah and how unstoppable they are. Uh, it's extremely difficult for any defence in the world, probably no defence in the world right now, you'd say, can contain these three. Uh, but Napoli did a pretty good job of it uh, tonight. <clears throat> Koulibaly uh, and uh, Manolas, there were a few odd aberrations here and there, but for the most part, both defences did very well. Manolas, there was one very comical clearance that on another day, Salah would have definitely punished. Um, and uh, Virgil van Dijk, of course, uh, making a mistake as well for Lorente's goal. Napoli's second goal, uh, a lack of concentration perhaps. Uh, but apart from that, a very neat and tidy display from both uh, back fours. And that's very refreshing to see in a modern day football, which is full of goals. Uh, what does this mean, though, in terms of consequences uh, for both uh, uh, for both these sides and for the group as well? Well, for one, it means uh, it's Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool's first defeat of the season. After five wins on the trot in the Premier League, this is the first game of the season that they've lost. Of course, they lost against Manchester City in the Community Shield, but that's deemed a pre-season game, isn't it? Uh, so first loss for them, um, it's, it'll be interesting to see how they react uh, uh, coming off uh, this defeat at the weekend because at the weekend they play Chelsea, that'll be interesting. Uh, and what does this mean for the group? Well, in my opinion, nothing really because like I mentioned, the first half was far more entertaining than the second, uh, even though both goals came late on in the second half. But both teams were playing with uh, the sort of freedom that comes from knowing that, well, we know that we are going to get uh, all... Uh, all points against uh, the other two teams of the group and you know the two teams that are going to come out uh, uh, into the knockout stages of the Champions League this season from this particular group it has to be Liverpool and Napoli uh, so no consequences in terms of that the, the the striking feature though of the game definitely the defense for both the teams uh, Two blockbuster games tonight as well. It's Chelsea, uh, it's uh, PSG versus Real Madrid and then the other team from Madrid as well, Atletico Madrid playing host to Juventus. I'll be reviewing those as well. Thanks for watching this and uh, stay tuned.